Howdy, uh, doing something a bit different here. I'm going a bit on the uh, the tech side at the homestead. Uh, my new PC just arrived, and it actually fits in this little box here. Uh, this is a Trig Key AMD Ryzen 7 Mini PC. Uh, it's a Ryzen 7 5800H. Uh, sells for about 350 bucks on Amazon. And this is replacing a rather old laptop. Um, I do have the, uh, the CPU scores. I'll post a little image in here so you can see what the improvement is I'm getting from this. So right now, at this very awkward camera angle, I'm going to open the box just so you can see what's in here. And then I'm going to set it up and dual boot this with Ubuntu or X Ubuntu uh, 2310. All right, so that's all that's in this box. So this is what we got here. This is a Trig Key Speed S, S Speed. Box is fairly bland, but that's what comes in the outer box. Slide out. Let's see what we got. All right, user manual for the S5. Here is the PC itself. Oh, oh. Cables and accessories. All right, here is the PC itself. Got a little bit of a protective stuff on it. Get that off. There's a reason why I don't do unboxing videos because I just tear shit open and uh, don't really talk about it that much because I want to know what's in the box. All right. So here's your front face of the PC. If I can get the reflection off there. So you got two USB 3s and a USB C on the front. On the back we have uh, Ethernet, uh, a couple of USB ports, and an HDMI and a uh, DisplayPort driver. Uh, looks like we have looks like we have a, a standard USB 2 and a USB 3 on the back, and a power hookup. Uh, has these little stickers on it here saying what's in it. Um, this one came with 32 gig of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive SSD. So, a good deal on that. And let's see what we got for accessories. Let me get some of this other crap out of my way. We have, um, not sure what that is. I'm guessing this is some type of a uh, mounting bracket if you want to stick it on your wall or on the back of your monitor. Not sure where I'll be sticking it yet. We have an HDMI cable. We have another HDMI cable. A very short one. We have a power cable. We have the our power adapter. And we have a small bag of screws, which I'm assuming is for uh, using this either on the base mount slot or wherever the uh, unit will get mounted. All right, let's get that in the bag. I just want to see how big this HDMI cable is. Not like I don't have a ten dozen of them anyways. So... About three foot, maybe four foot on the HDMI cable. And that is HDMI, right? Yep. All right. So I'm going to end this little unboxing section here. And uh, move the camera. And we'll uh, see how hard it is to hook this thing up. Um, from what I was reading, this should come with Windows 11 installed. I plan on dual booting it with Ubuntu anyways. And so it looks like we've got good ventilation on the side. I'm not going to crack the case or anything. And... 
Sorry, there's a little rubber thing sticking out of the bottom, which confused me. I guess I just won't screw with that. And uh, all right, let's uh, we'll move the camera. We'll hook this thing up to the monitor, power it up, and see what happens. All right, forgive the uh, the desk clutter here, but uh, I've got the uh, the trig key here, whatever this thing's called, hooked up to network, HDMI, power. And I have my uh, keyboard and mouse on the front USBs. I do have a USB hub, but for first use, I just want to see if it's going to work. And this is the first use. I'm hitting the button. And hopefully something will pop up on this monitor here. Ooh. Discovery Technology Green Light. This is obviously made in China. Um, it comes with, allegedly with Windows 11. However, it may not be a legitimate copy of, legi of Windows 11. Well, like I said, I plan on dual booting this Ubuntu, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, it's doing some setup here. I'm going to see if I can get you a little bit closer to read the screen. And I'm assuming this is your general Windows 11 first start setup screen here hello yes english okay i've been using linux for so long that i haven't ever like i don't think i've ever even installed windows 11. i'm just going to end the video here for the unboxing and setup portion because due to me not having a microsoft account um, i ended up being faced with a hundred question captcha which was just beyond what I wanted to deal with. So I ended up wiping Windows off the system and just installing it with pure X Ubuntu. So I'm just going to uh, show a couple little clips here of what it looks like as it is installed. And then we're just going to wrap this thing up. All right, so we do have the system installed. Um, I have it mounted on the back of my monitor, which uh, this is a Walmart monitor. It's what, a Scepter brand. Monitor itself is great, but um, the stand is honestly crap so mounting it on the back caused this thing to tilt so i redneck fixed it by uh, shoving a cigarette pack underneath each corner of the monitor so it stays level and um, this is it running x ubuntu right now with the video software on there uh, get the camera mounted on top and excuse the clutter behind but there we go and there's the pc mounted right to the back of the monitor. I did not want it center, which would be typical because that, I felt the back of the monitor and that seemed to be the hottest spot. So I mounted it on the side there. And uh, like I said, everything's running and active right now. All right, thank you for watching this video. Uh, now that I have this uh, PC set up and it will actually support live streaming, unlike my old laptop, Hopefully we can get some more uh, videos up and going from the office. And uh, you all have a great day, and uh, we'll talk soon.